Hey, Christ Chapel family, for those that I haven't had the pleasure of meeting before, my name is Cody McQueen, and this is my family. I'm Jen. I'm Dax. I'm Hayes. And uh, it's a privilege to be with you on this Christmas day. It's also a privilege to be the lead pastor at Christ Chapel and be a part of this gift from the Christ Chapel family. And part of the heart that we have in terms of sharing Christmas Day with you really is modeled from the heart of God. And the best place we can really find that is John 3, 16. So, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. That's right. Christmas is really all about the gift that God gave to us when he gave us his one and only son, Jesus. Why? Because he loved us. That's why we exchange gifts, and that's what we hope that you would accept this as from us to you as a gift. So over the next few minutes, you're going to hear from our music teams, some music that hopefully aligns your heart to the reason for the season, and then you're going to hear from our campus pastors and their families, scriptures and some messages that are meaningful to them personally. So whether you're enjoying a festive treat or if you're unwrapping gifts or traveling to see friends or family, we hope that you would accept this gift from us to you.
friends. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas day. My name is Matt. This is my wife, Darcy, and these are our three kids. Welcome to our home. We like to read from the Gospel of Luke on Christmas Day, and so we thought we'd share with you all a verse that means a lot to our family. It comes from Luke 2, 10, and 11, uh, where the angel is speaking to the shepherds, and it says, And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. We like to read that verse around our house because it's a good reminder to our family of why Christmas Day is such a joyful day, regardless of what our circumstances are. The birth of a Savior is good news for people who aren't perfect, for people who struggle, and for people who know that they can't fix themselves. The birth of a Savior is good news because God has not treated us as our sins deserve. 
Instead, he's done the opposite. He has come to be close to us, to be like us, to be with us so that we can be with him. And that's good news for all people. So we hope your day is filled with the great joy as you celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus. And from our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, you've come to bring peace, to be love, to be to 
touch their hearts of gold. Peace on the earth, goodwill to men from heaven's all gracious King. The world in solemn stillness lay to For lo, the days are hastening on by prophets seen of old, when with the ever circling years shall come the time foretold. Peace on. Which now the angels sing. Holy, 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 holy. It came upon the midnight clear that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth to touch their hearts of gold. Hey, Christ Chapel, my name is Micah Barnum and I am the South Campus Pastor. And this is my family. This is my wife, Holly, and my kids, Noble, Deacon, Adler, and Iris. We hope that this season is a special season for you that is filled with laughter, great time with friends and family, and of course, copious amounts of pie. But most of all, we hope this is a season where you get to celebrate and remember and worship the Savior, Jesus. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7 gives us a great picture of the gift that God gave us in the birth of his son. So I'm going to have my wife read that passage for us right now. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness, from this time forth and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. What an incredible gift God has given us. This gift gives us help, it gives us hope, but most of all, it gives us peace, peace with 
God. May this truth encourage and warm your hearts this season. So from our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
ambition Wrestling in his mother's arms Quays. My name is Ben. This is my wife, Danielle. Hi, these are our two boys. This is Charlie and Miles. We hope you're having a wonderful Christmas. We want to read some scripture for you. Philippians 2, verses 5 through 8. It says, Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. That's probably not the most traditional Christmas passage, but I love what Philippians 2 does and how it gives us perspective about the birth of Jesus. Uh, that the birth of Jesus is this unbelievably gracious and merciful thing of our God. Our God who emptied himself, who humbled himself to the point of humanity. Jesus walked this earth, the same broken earth that we live and we navigate and we have our ups and downs on. Our God walked it and he walked it perfectly. And he walked it without sin and he walked it obediently, obediently to the point of the cross. And so on Christmas, we think about the birth of Jesus, but we're also reminded of the entire gospel. The birth, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus. And that is what has reconciled those who believe 
to a good and a gracious king. Um, it's not our good deeds. It's not our church attendance. It's the fact that we have a God who for some crazy reason saw fit in his grace and his mercy to show up and to enter our brokenness and meet us where we are and call us through his grace to something better. We love you guys. We hope you have a great Christmas. So from our family to you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.
Christ was born and God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Thanks for spending part of your Christmas day with us, Christ Chapel. Yes, thank you for sharing your day with us. We hope you have a great rest of the day. We hope that you enjoyed the message from the campus pastors and their families, as well as the music. We hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and we definitely want to see you again in the new year. Yeah, definitely. Next year, we're beginning a new series in Acts, and we're going to be studying that for a long time where we watch how God empowered us as individuals to share the good news of Jesus, to care for one another. It's going to be a great series for us as a church, and we would love to have you back. But until then, we'd like to say from all of our leadership, from our staff, from our congregation, and certainly from our family, we want you to have a Merry Christmas!